I never thought I would, I would own my own house. I was going to divorce and I was just tired of it already. So I took my two boys, put just what they had on, and never looked back. Came to my mom's and dad's, so they helped me so much. Fortunately, my dad passed away. I had to go get help for my kids and me. We've been here, what, 18 years. We just lived a couple houses down from each other. I just started talking. I moved in once my daughter was born. So we're going on, I'm going on to seven years living here. I got five kids, I got six on the way. My girlfriend's pregnant actually. So I uh, got my six beautiful kids of mine. I love them to death. They share rooms, my two boys share rooms and they're in high school already and it's time for them to get their own room. Cause I tried to get a house and we just couldn't. I didn't make enough. I mean, my payment was gonna be high and all that. So we're like, kind of gave up, you know? We just were like, okay, well, whatever. I guess we can't get a house anytime soon. And it was, that was it. I was just like, there's no way I'm gonna get my own house. By the time you guys work with the community and also incorporate volunteerism into the product, it's just, it creates a wonderful thing uh, that goes beyond just the house itself. I'm very happy for the people that will someday live here. This is your chance to live in your own home and this is, this is what America's all about. We seen it on the news about the groundbreaking, I think it was, and uh, we are like, let's try it. Doesn't hurt to try. So I'd like to invite the Camacho family to come and join us up here in front of the stage. So congratulations, your families have been selected wow. as our next Habitat homebuyer. When she invited to that breakfast in the morning, we were like, and they called our name, we were just unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Speechless, man. Incredible, incredible feeling I had that day. You know, bro, me and my girlfriend broke down on the way home, called our moms and they were happy for us, dude. It's incredible, man. I called my mom and I told her, she goes, for real? I was like, yeah. She goes, okay, well, it's a new chapter for you guys. But I was like, but we have to work on the house to build it. And she's like, okay. She goes, well, it's gonna be hard, but it'll be worth it at the end. Our families put in a minimum of 500 hours of sweat equity, uh, working on site our construction staff every Saturday. And they do everything pretty much alongside the construction staff. It feels good because you're like, man, I built this door. We built the front door together. We're like, I painted this room, this wall, you know, little stuff that I know that we did that means a lot. It was really appreciative too, just seeing all them people that you don't even know come get together and just help you build your own house. It's, it's great, man. It's awesome. It's an awesome feeling. We're here to help our families get a hand up in, in the, and build strength, stability, and self-reliance for their families and, and their futures. Well, this is a dream of a lifetime. A lot of these people have been, you know, 60 days out from being kicked out of their house. I don't live very far from here. And these are great people, and, and you want great people in your community. From both sides of the family, we're the first ones to own a, own a home. It shows like my brothers, my sisters, like if I did it, you guys could do it. I never imagined me having my own home. You know, growing up, just, and, and just like this, we applied and look at us now. We have our own home. I'm so blessed, thankful, really appreciative, and every, all the people that came out every Saturday to help out, Really appreciate them. This is just a, a new beginning to us having a new home. It feels good now knowing we're we're here now, and can't wait to make new memories in our own house with our kids. So we're here, starting up our own chapter at our house.